Well, it's finally time to get started with the Christmas event. And it came out just a couple of days ago. By a couple of days, I mean yesterday. So let's get started. And I even already have some of the rewards. So we'll start this entire commentary out with the Steve Fools. So let's get started. You click on the snow globe and it teleports to the snowy cabin. This area is, oops, I had a video on, okay. So yeah, we have a four steeples this year. We have Steeple of Get Ascension by Orbaz the Pilot, Chloe, Logic Checks, and Amasaku. We have Steeple of Joyous Voyages by Punky Joe and 6.6.3.3.9. We have a Steeple of Nightmare Before Christmas by Crazy Zombie 50 and Kronku. And we have a Steeple of Festive Factory Infiltration by myself and Pred. Which one should we start out with? Let's start out with the easiest one. Staple of Evergreen Ascension. This is probably the most confusing staple out of them all, but to start off, just press this button. Now, when is this kid going the wrong way? Okay, so to start off with the staple, we go up to these platforms in the corner, or like, to the corner of the ready spawn. And you go up here. After you press that black button, just press all four of those buttons, all four, all three of those buttons. Just watch it go. And as soon as you hit those, come over here. And then the little mini obby that you have here. So you can activate the extra paths, so you can do more of this steeple. Come on, can I get up there? Yep. Is that a floating button? Yeah, it's floating. Now I'll wait for the, uh, the ball to come around. Here's the ball. Just wait for it to go. Wee. Look at, look at it go. Come on, hit it. There we go. Now we can go. Come down here, and there's now button active play platform, so go this way. And just off this tree trunk, or whatever it is, I don't know. Okay. Well, I almost just fell into a hole and died. Okay, now let's get up here. And now we just have, it's just really simple, that's all. But you just have to get up here, and you're out here. Now, the ball should be going somewhere, so should very quickly get up here. So just take the path that I'm current, whoa, that's not the path. Take, take the, take the path that I'm currently doing. There we go. Just watch out, you have to go through the presents. So that's all you have to basically do. Oh, just go on the train track thingies. And do a wrap around. And now we go this way. Okay, go through this quote-unquote maze. Okay, and we're out of that. And now climb up here, and here's the ES present for Miyawi. And come around here. Whoa, that was a lot to pick and a half. Then come around to here, and the present should be open. If it isn't, then that's an issue. Just if you don't, just flat walk through this. Next floor. This floor is quite simple. Just go behind some of the trees, and you'll find a button right here. There's an activated snow pile back here, and then go on top of one of the trees, and you get a button. Very awesome and cool. And now jump back, and get onto this two added platforms. And yeah, it's fairly simple. It's just kill brook with an obstacle, quote, train mark. Without the quote, of course, but, um, quote. Okay, go through these little holes. It might be a tad tight, but be careful. Avoid the kill bricks, because there's a section where you, uh, you have to rely on your health, so yeah. Don't waste all your health. Let's wait for those uh, moving platforms to go by. And watch out for that, and just be careful on that ladder, because it can tilt you off. Wrap around here, and this is a kind of long jump. Go from the longest point, like right there. Now wrap around. Get on the point seven five. Now do some wrap arounds. What? Okay. All right, we're back to where we were before. Uh, I was ultimate genius mode. Now, climb on this and not jump off like I did just a second ago. There's a spinning platform coming around. Jump on it and just avoid the kill bricks. It's very simple. Ah, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of the one in IE, except not like the one in IE. All right, and we're almost done with this floor. Just watch out for that uh, kill brick spinner. And you hear turrets, because there's a lot of them coming up. Uh, be careful on these little wobble boyos. Yeah. Now, as soon as you press that, go back. Definitely go back. Oh, that was close. Okay. And then come up here and go to the side and then turn around. And there's a little one stud and get on it. So, this is a boss. 
So wait for this baby platform to come over here and then press the button. Because that gives you more time. Just wait for that. And now we go. Get on this. And now we go on these little simple jumps over here. They're like, I don't know. Kind of long, but not really. Uh, can't, these little transparent parts are can't collide. And don't forget that these turds exist. So don't die from it. Like some people probably already done. These are conveyors. They're misleading. So they are as fast as the uh, things go. Or like the little beams. So yeah. Ah, avoid those. Oh, right. And watch out. And yeah, watch out for this yellow bit. These all fall, so go really fast. It doesn't matter how much damage you take, just go fast. Let's get to it into a rhythm, so you don't take as much damage. It isn't too hard. But the next section gets harder, so yeah. Have, have as much health as you can. This section kind of gets uh, close to death, so wait for it and then go up. These wobble, so use them to your advantage. Okay, now we have some really simple slide jumps. It's just more of avoid the spinner than anything else. These shove, so these can slip you Mach 10, and I don't think you want to be sent Mach 10. Okay, I'm just waiting for this shove. Okay, these are like ornament thingies. I can't tell what these are. Just jump on them and watch out because they turn like this. They just like wobble forward and they send you forward. This is the hardest section because this is like almost insta kill. Why that? I mean, it like it can murder you in your run. Like these do 20 each, and if you get hit by like four of them, there goes your entire run. Yes, I know that adds up to 80, but you're most likely not at perfect shape here. Let's go fast because it's, it's timed. Watch out for that because starts gonna go through in the through in the wall, through in the wall, and create. Okay, go through here and up here, and you're done. You cannot walk off the steeple, and you're done with the steeple. up here and there will be present up here i've already beaten this and i already been every other steeple so the present is not here because i've already collected it let's go to the next steeple the next present we have up i mean the next present we have up the next steeple we have up a steeple of joyous voyages by punky jones 66839 this one is probably the longest steeple out of them all but it's pretty good so yeah let's get started just, can i please fall there we go start off with falling out of a i think that i i can really it's probably an ice cube thing but whatever like these are all moving platforms that go behind the wall, so time them correctly. Uh, now we had a simple gameplay. You see this darkened path? These are safe ice. If you jump on here, you'll watch in a second. See, it goes down. So go on the right path. All right, and we're here. Go on these wobble platforms. You have two paths: the hard path or the easy path. I'll be going the hard path because it's easy, or it's just faster as well. So yeah, did some vertical wraps. This wobbles. Do a wrap around, like a vertical wrap around, basically. And now be careful here, just to vertical wrap out and in, kind of like that. And you're already done. You're done with floor one, basically. So just be careful, and you'll make it onto the next floor. Can I please get up here? Okay, now we go up. Whoa! Oh yeah, by the way, just go up here and skip that, because you can skip all that. So let's do that. Uh-oh, skittery jump. Okay, wrap around. Oh, no. Wrap around. Log. Just don't try to ruin this section like I just did. That is not a way to do it. Don't move the pushing platform. It's not a good idea. Get this box and now push the present. And now we have a little shoving platform thing. And now we have the spinner. Just wait for a second. And now we put it on here. And jump on it as well. You need it. Now push it over, and yeah, just wait for this conveyor thing, or elevator. All right, and wait for the elevator to go up two stages. This is the first stage thingy, and then the second stage will be up here. Come on. Yay, go. And I push it into this hole. Do not go in the hole, it, it, it doesn't lead you anywhere. Now this appears, and we can continue into the next section. Oh no, the one stud. Okay, time this jump correctly and don't fall through the holes. Okay, and jump on here. Okay, it's a curb type rope, just take the time. Or just brush it like me. Uh, depends on what kind of person you are on tightrope. This is a shover, and it can get stuck. So I suggest you to jump on it before you leave, so it goes back, so you don't get chibi jade. Uh, and now we're on to the next floor. 
This is an elevator thing. Or not elevator, this is a conveyor. Ah, that was close. Uh, jump right here. We have a puzzle coming up. It's really simple, but it's kind of neat. Let's go over here. All right. Oh, that almost filled that wrap. I almost filled that wrap around. All right, this pushes down, and then you go over here. Be careful on this jump, because you can fall all the way back to floor one. And be careful there. All right, and we're already almost all the way done with this floor, except you're not at all. <laughs> don't go down there. There's actually a new hole that this button opens, and you don't have to restart the entire floor, thankfully. Now you can come around here. This now pushes up, so let's go up now. Ah, that was close. Be careful here. And this is a tightrope. I almost just failed that. All right, now we jump onto this platform. Now we jump up here, wrap around, and watch out for the conveyors so that can send you down two floors. Uh, get that button and wrap around back here. Get on the candy cane, and that's about it. Do not put on there because that ice shatters. Same with this ice. All this ice shatters, so don't step on it. Now climb to the truck. Okay, you did not see that. Ah, I almost filled that. Okay, just watch out for the ice. Because the ice will go bye-bye. Just like you on this floor. Okay. Let's do not go on the sides. You have to go on like front. These are all the previous steeples. Like in the screenshot they gave you as a sneak peek. We're going to fr frantic ter terrificness by ice and salt. Uh, yeah, this is a very simple section. And it's not really anything to explain to you. It... Yeah, it's self-explanatory. Oh yeah, this is fog. It's a great. It's also very short, so don't worry about it. All right, and route here. If you fall, you get to get. Uh, not of a GBJ, but you have to restart the entire steeple. So don't screw that up. Jump here. You get teleported, and get on this balloon and just hit the very top. That's all you have to do. Reach right here, and it's a button, and you get teleported. Let's go to Christmas Chaos. Uh, the water teleports you back, so don't touch the water. Coming up in no time. Just go really quickly here. And don't fall. Unless actually you have to go on the easy path, it, they're equally as fast, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. Oh no. This is a thing. Just squash your camera in between, and you're out of the room. Ah! This is can't glide false. This also can uh, really screw up your vision. Or not vision, but it, last time it used to. Give you epilepsy, so that's fun. Now get this button, and now we go through these two walls. Now we do some wraparounds, or skip them, of course. Go up here, come up here, come up here. And you have skipped all the wraparounds, good. Now hit that button, and you have amazing gifts left by Ludo and Gamma or something, I don't know. Uh, These are our wobble platforms. These spin, no, they really spin. Okay, Uh, yeah, it's really self-explanatory. It's also really short, thankfully. What? I got shoved off by the shover. Nice. I had a copyright strike from the song. All right. And we're done with the steeples. Come out here because you... Oh, actually, don't go out there. Come up here. And then you can climb out of this roof. Off. Uh, go on a raised gift and then jump up here. And you're out. And jump onto these neon platforms because they're now there. Because of the steeples. That, or the that, pillars, I'm sorry. That's the correct term. Uh from the previous floor. Welcome to the snow floor, therefore your screen turns into snow. Have fun. Yeah, just be careful, please. You'll fall really far down if you fail. Okay, question one, who are the builders? Let's read them out. Kit and Lord 420, Block Command 666, or 666239, Kronku. The answer is right. The, how many presents? There is 35 presents in this uh, house. What are the uh, gifts from last year or the presents? Is it snow coil? Or is it bootleg winter coil? It is the right answer. Be careful because these will slow you down. And you have to run, so really be careful. Just go through here and then go through. I really just ruined my run. Two, one. Yes! Oh, that was close. Okay, this is a little thing on the wall, so be careful. Like, very careful. Okay, now jump on it and then make sure you go onto the side and jump off with this. You'll be slowed down by these things and that bridge will not be falling off. So, yeah. Scary bridge. No, no. Okay, jump down here. This is a non-GBJ. Just jump down here. 
this uh this will speed you up be careful because this is ice and that ice will fall apart ah okay next uh the, there's no sign but there used to be a sign here and it goes middle left middle right or the other ones fall so middle left middle right um uh, this should have been amazing you can find your way also fires will warm you up okay do not touch those because these will slow your progress down and will slow you down so you have to go back don't do that it's i, I don't think i want to revert your progress come back here and we have thing this will slow you down so you have to do some thin stuff while slow wow okay we're almost done with that that was really quick and uh you'll get your speed back after this so yeah all right climb up this ladder can i please get cooled down or right, cooled down i mean warmed up all right so watch out for uh, this okay now do this long jump now go backwards now you can progress back oh yeah now you go over here there's a little spinner and be careful because this can fling you off the floor so there's a one side on the side of this wall and this spin just be kind of careful uh-huh uh-huh okay now go through this wall and we reached the boss fight of this uh staple two staples have boss fights already nice go on this little conveyor thing and just stay still do not fall off this section because it sends you back to the house it is mean section is also kind of scary so be careful bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum ah okay let's and then you can go to the boss fight. Don't screw up on the boss fight or you'll be sent back to the uh, house that where where the presents are. All right, welcome. The last question of them all, and the true question here, is Ob Prime and M, yes or yes? Let's go. It doesn't matter which answer you choose, it's just yes. And now we're on this conveyor balloon thing from TOQ. All right. Be careful here, because if you fall, you get to fall all the way back to the opt prime question here. Watch out here. Okay. These will pop your balloon. Anything around here will pop your balloon, most likely. Okay, get to this elevator. Oh, that was close. And now run on this for 13, 37 seconds. Uh, just avoid these. These are kind of quite off though, so these should be fine. Yeah. The music's good. I like it. Okay, we're almost done. Just keep running the fitness ground pacer test. It's real easy. This is a ladder flip stuff, so just hold W like that and go up. Or there's another way to do this and like go like that. All right, and we're here. Don't fall here, or you get to go back to Opt Prime. So wrap run inside of this. And there's some more wrap runs on top of this. Uh, wrap around down here. Wrap around here. Wrap around up here. And jump up here and climb on it. And jump up here, up here. Press the orb and now we have a big red ball that goes bonk. If it will move. See, and we're exploding the turret machine. Fire turret machine. It goes in and then out. For no reason, it continues to go in and out for no reason whatsoever. It repeats. All right, continuing. But uh, uh, we're on floor five, which means we're almost done with the sequel. Uh, yeah, this is probably the hardest section. Uh, the lights change and it's kind of cool. Be careful and do not fall off like that. I almost just did. Uh, this is some no jump section. So just be careful here. It's kind of hard to maneuver, but you can get used to it. Tight rope. There we go. You have your jump back, so now you can go through here. Okay, now we have a kill brick. Just be careful. And then climb this ladder and then climb here. Do not touch that snow thing that will screw your run over. Uh, yeah, be careful here and here. Let's just, just be very cautious. Ah. This is a long jump, so be very careful. Like that. There's a shift lock stuff. Or a strat. Okay, be careful here. Do wrap around either like this or like this. And there, one is harder than the other, and I suggest the one, the first one I did. 
Okay, so now wrap around up here. Uh, don't do that. Okay. We're back here. It's time to do the very beginning. Okay, we're back to where we were. Because that is ultimate genius mode. Okay, wrap around here. Uh, just duck under here. It's kind of difficult, but it should be too hard. All right, and then wait for the light to change so you can see. And there's a platform right here, I think. This spins in two directions, so be very cautious and see where it spins. Jump on this red dot and jump here. Climb on the ladder and we're almost to the second part of this floor. There's three parts, by the way. And we're on the second part. This part's also really cool, so yeah. Be careful here, because you'll fall down quite a bit. You'll lose a lot of progress. All right. Oh, yeah, don't go out here. This is the uh, part where you uh, get all of the stuffies. Or more like buttons, but stuffies. Okay, be careful. And we have three challenges. One of them is really cool, and another one is also really cool. Ah, that's loud. So, get this. Uh, if you see, like, the little red stuff, that means you've done this challenge. You just have to turn it so it hits the button in the back. New super fun festive theme Gatling gun. Slamma face. From Kaiser 2 Punky. All right. We have two more challenges. You have hockey, which is the other cool one. These are actually all pretty cool. They're all innovative in a way or so. Or so a way or so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa! I thought I just fell almost. That was scary. Okay. So I just press all three buttons and go up. But you have to time them correctly or you'll fail. Alright. Come up here. These are can and this is not ice physics. So you should be glad. I know this because personally, Punky told me this. So... Yeah, so you know, you guys don't have to scream at me for quote unquote, you know, having ice physics in a steeple. How dare you? No, 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 no. Okay, score. Uh, you have to score this to go down the next section. Once you've scored, and you should have a pink and yellow, nice, cool star. Kind of looks like Super Mario 64, honestly. I like it. Now, once you're done with that, come over to this red portal. Go over here, and yeah. You're done. Get this button and on the second part of part two. The second part of part two. There's two parts. It is just the outside part of floor two. Or part two, sorry. That's This is a confusing sentence. I'm sorry. Okay, wrap around here. Wrap around. Or not wrap around, but wrap around here now. Be careful because this can uh, kind of screw up your jump. So, yeah. All right. And then wrap around here. Be careful. And now we're on the pink dot stuff. All right, and up down here. These are like kind of tight, so be careful. Jump on this neon arrow-esque thing. I don't know what this is. And up here. Don't fall down already. We start the outside section of the first part. Go on top of this, climb the ladder. You're back in here now. Uh, Yeah, we have, we have to call this an X pusher, ladies and gentlemen. Now go above everything and let's we'll see shove right here. What? Are you serious? Why? Why did that happen? That is stupid. I know you're here. I know you're here. I progress you lose a more of time than anything else but punky made it easier on you so you should be happy you've almost made it to the uh, aurora part which is a part yo i don't know how you guys will feel about it but yeah you're gonna have a lot of fun with it get on this and avoid everything the blue ones are the main thing that can ruin your run so just avoid this at all costs and now we have some really good music to come to uh accompany us just to, uh, get onto these platforms every time you see them. 
because it's like a safety net thing. Or not a safety net, but it's just an uh, indicator I want to go. All right. Get onto this. Whoa, that could have been bad. And watch out, because there's Killbrook Kevin over here. Might be that like Killbrooks, of course. But for people like that, it's the quite opposite. Oh my. Oh no. 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 Ah. What? Why am I. Just got onto this platform. You shouldn't be on there. That will fall. It'll make you fall way off. So just be very careful. Oh no. It's in my reach now. Okay. Be very careful. Because you're going to. Get hit with a lot of things in your face. Uh, there's two things that are, are... Oh, what? Hello! Uh, there's a little hole to stay in the middle so you don't get damaged as much. This is where you have to be careful. Uh, this is the potentially uh, run-ending one. Be careful. This will bump in here. Now, hold jump here because this will fall down. Okay. That's basically one of the- well, There's another part which is questionable here. So be careful. Okay, now be careful. It uh, goes under. Okay, now you're right under the- uh, Right over the ledge, so do not fall here. This way, and you have to jump off right before or you'll get hit into a uh, platform. Jump here. And now get onto these can clad kill bricks. Now you're on pink. Pink is the last section, you're done. So, oh, conveniently, it's here. Be, you have to time it correctly. Be careful. All right, and you'll be sent over to this section. Do it, and you're basically done with the steeple. Oh, boy. Press the button. Ow, my ears. Now wait for the thing to come over once more. All right. The platform's here. Get on it and go. You might have to go through these things again. If you do, be very careful. Yep, you have to do. Uh, all right. Press this. Get back on it and go through this once more. Go through the wall. And you're done. You're finally done with the steeple. This is the longest steeple out of them all, besides Kronks, maybe. So yeah, you're done. You should be having another present up here collected, and you're going to the next steeple. The next steeple up is Steeple of Nightmare Before Christmas by Kronk and Freezy Zombie. Ah, oh, the steeple is probably the hardest one, so yeah. Ah, oh, I love my five frames per second I'm getting on the steeple. Nice. Yeah, this is probably the most confusing one, so just follow my movements. There's two sections yet to go, so yeah. Actually, I might just might as well just rejoin real quick. One second, because I am now lagging. Okay, now we don't run at two FPS. Good. So we start off by going left or right, and I'm gonna go left for the section. So yeah. yeah that was close. Just do a wrap around. There's a lot of more uh, advanced movements here, so yeah. Okay, now this is a slanted, so go up here. Uh, jump over here. You don't actually even have to do this because you can jump on the tree. That skips like all that. And now you have a tightrope. It's an ice tightrope, so yeah. It actually acts like ice too, so you should hold jump so you don't have to worry about that. Dun, 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 Be careful, so jump down here. And you have the cube and the button. Before you get teleported to the very beginning, so you should be fine. Come over here, and you have, you're getting the circle. Yep, a circle. That's how awesome this is. A one individual circle. Merry Christmas, everyone. You get a circle for Christmas. Okay, uh, yeah. Hold jump on these, and you have to just do really weird stuff, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Just hold jump and use momentum. Like that jump, for example. Oh! Nice! And there you go. Come on, we're almost done with this. This is one of the hard parts. I think you can skip it just by doing this jump. Yep, you can skip that. Good. All right. Now, you do a weird wrap. Do not quarter clip like uh, some people do. And we're almost done. Uh, this jump and this jump can be janky, so be very careful. Like, wrap around. And you have the circle. Now, climb up this. All right. And we're on to the second part. This is the last part of floor one, and then we get to the second part of the steeple. My second part, uh, I mean, the outside section part, everyone's favorite part. Except it's actually good! But it's also a GBJ, but the GBJ, uh, can be, you know, inverted or un undone. That This is a terrible sentence, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I should, I'm losing my privileges to speak. No speaking privileges for the commentary anymore. All right, continuing, get onto this platform that moves in and out. Please just move in and out, it's kind of easy. All right, wrap around. As long as you out, have the key, you should be fine. This section is cool. It's an either section, essentially. Uh, the bullets can push you back and stuff. But this one, you have to go over, so hold jump above it. And good job. Now, don't wrap around like I almost just did. Come back here, do a wrap around. Use the X pusher and jump back. Okay, this can crush you, so be very careful. And now you're not being crushed. All right, and then wrap around here. And that ladder jump is kind of hard. Get the button and you're done with that section. But don't worry, there's more just for you. <gasps> oh! Okay, don't do that. Okay, these are like the uh, GD jumps. So uh, be careful. All right, be careful here. These are kind of hard wrap runs because they are slanted, so be very careful. Oh, good thing that it is first person this. Don't jump on the ladders and go back to the very beginning because it's annoying. And now you go up here. And yeah, welcome to the south side section. This has a TP, so you should be happy. And now we're going. These move up and down and stuff and these kill books everywhere, so don't die. But the, you don't really want to restart this. Especially at the end of the steeple. Cause there's one part where if you don't, if you time it incorrectly, it's a very, <gasps> ah! Okay, you did not see that. Let's try to actually do well this time. You can go right and then left, so you can avoid these. Cause they still can damage you through the uh, orb. Yay. So let's see, have it. Now you can just walk off now and not be jbj There we go. Then you can go back here and you're done with this floor. You're going to the, second and also harder part of the steeple or third actually because this is the second part i have to chunk steeples up it's the third and fourth part of the steeple which actually get really hard these are some of those more of those gd jumps so be careful and that's ice welcome to the section this looks innocent doesn't it yeah it's very innocent that's a lie did i really just do that all right jump up here and you're witnessing probably the other part that's kind of hard and then you have some oh oh my god it scared me oh, oh oh my god oh my god that scared me so badly oh my god <laughs> that scared me so badly okay yeah you're locked in here continuing on uh yeah you might want to be very careful here this is a conveyor and those are turrets that damage you these are claws with presents in them. Jump on them and you have to do a kind of hard jump. Oops, not caps lock. And jump here like this. Don't go into the oblivion. And jump up here. These, you just go through the slots and you should be fine. And up. Oh. There you go, you close that. And then watch out, just stay to the side. These do a lot of damage, so just stay to the side. And you're almost to a hard part. Yeah, you're right next to the hard part. So, once you get up here, you get welcome to the hardest part of the steeple. Welcome. This is the hardest part of the steeple. Uh, yeah. It's dark and it turns into the new Halloween event, 2K19 V2. Do long jumps like this to skip jumps that are kind of annoying. All right. No! That was stupid. Why does it make an ice sound? Okay, now jump here. And wait for this to push you back. And then jump here like that. You have to do a kind of hard jump. Just wrap around here. Wait for a moving platform to come around here. And don't jump there. I forgot. That is not the right path. Wait for this. Jump onto this platform. Do a nice wrap around. What? We're back to where we just were before I was Ultimate Genius 2K19. Wait for this to come around, it's kind of obnoxious, but you have to. All right, and jump here. Wait for it back here, cause you have to do another wrap around back here, and another wrap around. This is a weird jump, so I just follow my movement. Just go like that. And this is probably one of the hardest jumps of the section. This is a slanted platform, so slant this camera just enough so you can get onto this. And one more wrap around. And this is slanted, so this is not like some ramp. We're almost at the outside section, cause there's more. I'm almost on the, uh, Scary part. Jump down here. Welcome to the probably uh, another extremely hard part. 
just slide through the spot so you don't fall off the tower. That'd be nice. Okay, you have to climb onto one of the hooks and you're done with the steeple. You should be very happy. So yeah, it's not the end of the steeple. This is the hardest part of the steeple and has a so that's yeah, almost insta kill. So yeah, welcome. It is a, not fun. Yeah, there's a. Where am I? Hello, am I in Lala Land? Okay, wrap around back here. Like for us to come around and jump on it. Spin around and then spin up like that. Now we have to wait for this to come around again. Okay, that I was too late on that. Just give me a sec. All right, and now wrap around, wrap around, and climb. This is why I hate the steeple so much. It has some good design. I really, I like the design. It's really good. It's crunk, so you expect kind of really good design. But there's this section, which is not fun. Okay, do not make the same mistake on me, like me and falling down here. This is just the same thing over again. Don't go that way. So you have to go from here and then jump all the way down here. And after that, you have to wrap it on the cylinder like that. And wrap onto the slanted platform. We have another uh, curvy boy. And you have even more up to this. So now I'll go around here. Try not to take as much damage. Okay, welcome to the turret section. Another extremely hard part. This is like intense gameplay and a challenging steeple. Uh, it teleports you back real far. Oh, hello, Santa that's possessed. Okay, uh, be careful here. This jump is the hardest jump in the steeple. There we go. There's another incredibly hard jump coming up. Not this jump, this jump is mediocre. It's this jump. All right, after that, jump here, and there's insta-kill. So, this is insta-kill, uh, be very careful. Like, get up here as fast as you can. Climb up here. Be very patient with yourself and do not try to rush this because if you fall, it's basically game over. So, we slide through here very carefully. And jump here onto the cylinder. Okay, now wrap around. And do some vertical wraps. And this is where the present will be and you'll be done with the steeple. And you should be very glad. All right. And uh, onto the last steeple. Onto the last steeple, which is my steeple. And I'm putting this for the last because I hope you guys enjoy this. And this will burn your computers apart. I hope you enjoy that. Okay. This is by, made by Pred and myself. And it is another semi hard steeple. All right. You have. This is the only steeple where you have an outside section to look out of. It's very nice, I would assume. At least people would say, I'd hope. And yeah. Also, this milk is damaging. So yeah, don't fall in there. Ah, uh, cookies and stuff. There's a note on there as well. But this is a factory. This is a interesting factory, as you'll see later on. So let's get started. Do not go that way. Because that's not the right way. Alright, press this button back here. And, uh, yeah. It will activate this present behind the duck. And you can progress in the stable. Come up here, do... It's a very simple. Alright. And get on top of the Pred Fedora, go around it, go on top of the duck, and go on the cannon, and go boop into the water pot. So, come up here, it's, it's more of a shift walk area, and then do a wrap around. Climb on the ladder. This present, I mean this present, this tower includes a lot of unwrapping presents, so yeah, it's kind of, oh, get back here. Press this button, and now you've unwrapped the present, and you have a client object there. Merry Christmas, a balloon dispenser, that's your, uh, that's like all you get for Christmas. One balloon dispenser. Use it for your towers wisely. Okay, continuing. You have to hold jump, like, hold your A key and then hold jump so you don't accidentally get almost GB dated. Except there's now a safety part, so don't worry about being GB dated in the steeple. Go up here and go down this tightrope. Map around here. Come up here. Oh, don't do that. And you're at the portal. Ow! Okay, welcome here. All right, this section is, you have all spinning gears. Uh, you'll see why these weren't, because people are running at five frames per second during the event. So we had to change that, or someone's computer would be fried. All this is some very simple stuff. It's very self-explanatory. 
This is a wobble kill brick section. We're coming to stuff that's really cool. Just uh, be careful here. Jump here, and then as soon as that, uh, the pole comes close to you, jump to the next part. Uh, now we have a nice mm, cylinder wrap around. And we're up to the second part. Press the red button so you can unwrap one of the gifts. Preferably that gift. Come up here and get that. Uh, these fall out of the gifts box and they open part of a present up here. So, yeah. See? And they activated that blue present. Go in here and get the Santa hat. Okay, activate the Santa hat. Now find another gift that's open. There's only three here. So once you find three, you can go in the present. Get there and go up here and you're done. This is probably one of the coolest things here. And also good music that totally did not steal for Keb Block's time. All right. So, this is kind of hard. The cylinders are supposed to be a conveyor, but I forgot to, so uh, use this for your own gain. So, these are going down, uh, like, what do you call these? Uh, uh, conveyors, there you go. Just avoid them or you'll be shot down to the uh, vegan animal floor too. <gasps> no, okay, you did not see that. You can also just jump above these like this, this, then this. Then you can do that as well. Either one works, all right. So, what you have to do, do not bring the pink present to there yet. Bring one of those two and bring it up here. Just go up here and be very careful and try to push it up here. Other uh, conveyor button. It's useful. You'll see later. Okay. No! Oh! That was close. Got that, and now I'm going to jump down this thing. Alright. So you have the. Wait. Oh no, I have the red box. Alright. So let's go get the green box over. And we got this American and Oh, that's okay. Lucky, cause yours didn't get flung. Please do not put the box in the very corner or it'll get jammed. So just move it right here. And make sure it doesn't get jammed right here or it'll get caught and you have to restart. There you go. Now push it down here. And now since you already have the next box up here, you can just come back here and push this one. There are things that come in and out of these. And I, I tell you to be very careful here because these boxes and you can be shoved off. Can we wait? Okay, there we go. And there's another purpose for this box. There's two actually. Come over here, push it up here. And now you have to do the section that's a little mini obby to do blue. All right. They have a nice wrap around uh, on the ladder for a second. Get on these two simple drums. Uh, very cramped wrap around. It's pretty easy. And now you're done with that. Come down here and go back on the tightrope. Now push the box over here because you have no barrier anymore. Boop. And good job. Guess what? You're on to the next floor. Just do wrap around and climb up this ladder. There's also an elevator, so yeah. And let's go. You have to just use a lot of momentum here, and it's not too bad. As people say for toe sass, but toe sass is questionable. All right, just use your momentum, I'll show you. A good way to use it is like, oh, just Z fighting, oh my god! Okay, go like that, there you go, nice. I fell into the bucket, I did not mean to fall in the bucket. That's used for if you fall on one of those dropper things. All right, get on here and be very careful here. These little neon things sit you, so there's a little exclamation point telling you, so. And drop yourself in here. All right. Get on the spinners, and if these don't seem synced, because they might not, just wait, because they will become synced soon. Uh, watch out for this, because this will sit you. Like, boop, bye. Look it, I'm just sitting. Okay, that doesn't really bother me, let's continue. Be careful here because this is kind of hard and you fall down uh, to the very beginning of three or four. And I don't think you would like to do that. There's another bucket here just in case you fill this one. All right, go here and pop. Good job. Go on this moving platform. It does not act like ice here, so you should be happy. So if it did, it would have been a chaotic mess. All right, uh, wrap around here and now just wait for us to push you. This is probably like a really hard part as well. Uh, get up here and watch out for this little cyan thing because this is a seat thingy that will sit you and that's evil oh okay all right uh wrap around here and get yourself climb on this and just slowly but surely make your way across there you go wrap around up and you go this is a plant thing this might look a bit janky but it will move you around it it works uh just trust me 
that just jump off like this and this can send you flying. So be careful. Now wrap, kind of like hold against the wall, not wrap around, but eh, kind of. Now this tight ropes, these are not ice. This is ice though. And you're done with this floor. We're gonna five with some amazing out Creo music here. Uh, it's just some very simple parkour, but yes, spinner, someone's not gonna be happy about that. Okay, I almost just failed that. Okay, yeah, this just sends you to the very beginning of this floor, and you should be fine. Yes, that moves. That's not that's not a moving platform. That's just a shopping platform which tilts on its side. Wait for this to come back. All right, and yeah. Just be careful of those, because that can kill you if you're not careful enough. Go to the side, to the side, and yeah, you're done. What's that suction? Now go on the tightrope, do a vertical wrap around, do a nice long jump like that, and wrap around back here. And boom. You go on the staircase down here. Don't really screw that up. Spinning platforms, but they really don't spin. All right, get up here. Get onto this and be careful. Except don't, because they will send you regardless. Conveyor, conveyor, be careful, because there's a spinner that might obscure your vision. Okay, go to the side and jump here. Okay, we have this, so be careful and wrap around. And now, call on the ladder. And there's a wrap around that's kind of tight. So be careful here. Jump here, and you can just walk the rest. Except this part, this is the last jump. Welcome to the second phase of the boss button, and the teleporter will activate. This, if you spawn, and this will uh, elevate you up, just be careful about it, and uh, just wait till this uh, is back. It's not spawning here. Okay, continuing. There's um, a lot of wraparound oriented jumps, so be careful. Okay, and get that. These are all breaking the grate slowly. You have to get all of them, and you can't item clip, so you can't even try to cheese that. Wraparound here. The neon indicates everything. Just look for the neon if you see anything. This is a activating box thing, so this is from TOQ. I totally ripped it out of TOQ. Uh, yeah, so go through this section. Just push it around. You have full control over it. Jump like that and drop. Okay, cut this button and there are spinners. Be careful and do not be spun into that elevator. Do not try to wrap around here. That's the incorrect way. Wrap around right here, like that. And now get the last button. Ow! That was loud. And push yourself over here. And that will be your last present right here. After you have that, you're going to the boss. 